loads of testimonials in the men's game and um, not so many in the women's game so I'm hoping that I can start a bit of a snowball effect and the girls can jump on the bandwagon and you know in other sports as well women's sports growing hugely it's getting loads more media attention as it should be um, and hopefully this will be a, a small part towards kind of increasing that momentum and, and getting us moving forwards in the right direction so we've got two two major charities one's the women's sports trust um, who are amazing two fantastic ladies set it up on the back of the 2012 olympics to basically say do you know what this is amazing there's loads of female athletes on tv we need to keep this going um, and that's what they've been sort of chipping away at so i'm really proud to support them um, they're not just rugby they're all women's sports um, which is really important to me as well i know i love rugby but do you know what i only played rugby when i got to 15 years old and i did everything else before that um, and the other one is restart rugby so for people who don't know they're um, the charity branch of the rpa who look after the men's and women's rugby players across the country and they support the england women's team um, so it's for things like players who've had catastrophic injuries or in hardship um, or transitioning out of the game. All things that are traumatic in different ways um, and the charity are there to support them. So I've been on the receiving end, a lot of my really close friends have been on the receiving end of their support and yeah, they've, they've just done great stuff and I know they're going to do even more to support the women's game. Um, and the final one is Nordoff Robbins. And every year, Victor's um, company, VU, support them with a massive dinner. So January is the time to get yourself involved in a beautiful dinner. Um, and the charity use music therapy to help children, adults, anyone basically who can be supported through music therapy to help them with their communication and their quality of life. Um, and they're awesome. If you don't know about them, you need to look them up. So it sounds like it's going to be quite the year and opportunities for people to come along and support these charities and you. Yes, I mean, it's about me, but it's not about me. So that doesn't really fit very well. Having played team sport for all of my life, really, um, to have something dedicated to yourself is a bit weird. Um, but the, the important thing for me is that it's hopefully going to build that momentum for female athletes, you know, women in sport um, and raise money for charity so it's a win-win situation.